the aftermath of a scrapper well the time has come these chillers are getting changed out so these are the new ones that are sitting here uh, we've got four total we're gonna be doing and they're going in here uh, I've done a lot of videos on these chillers over time I've, I've been maintaining this property for quite a few years now uh, even between different companies and uh, yeah they're finally 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 gonna get changed these things are really really old so this one in front of me is a 210 ton from 97 and uh, it's getting replaced with these uh, aqua force carriers that are uh, oh these are two this the big ones are 200 ton uh, the, yeah, the 30 XV so I am really excited they're gonna go back in with screws I think for the way this property runs and the load on it this is going to be incredible it's going to really help their efficiency in a lot of things now all of these chillers do have some issues long term uh, those discharge valves tend to cut, create a lot of failure points they've had a lot of issues with the coils on these holding up long term so these these definitely have some issues um, this is not what I would have chosen myself honestly uh, I would not have recommended going with the carrier on this I would have much rather seen them d go with you know uh, heck a train the York really a York honestly I much prefer the York air cools myself but they chose the carrier uh, it's the price point they got what they wanted out of it and uh, We'll, uh, I mean, we'll service it. It's, it's still a functioning machine. You know, we'll get several good years of, you know, pretty decent use out of it. And then, you know, they'll, the, the failures will start, you know, at that point. But that's okay. It's what we're here for. So the goals for today. Today is Friday. Uh, we start picking them. We get the crane and all done tomorrow. Uh, the the refrigerant's going to get recovered. I got a vendor coming in. It's going to do the recovery and we're going to sell. It's R22, so we're going to sell the refrigerant uh, to the recovery company and they'll have it processed. Electrician is doing the make safe. We have 120 uh, coming into the unit for controls and then our main 460 coming in at this disconnect. All of this will be pulled today. He's working on getting that disconnected now. Uh, so they'll go through and get that done. The pipe fitter is going to come in and start uh, looking at prepping and getting ready for uh, their connections. We're having to replace all of these valves because honestly they don't actually hold. So we will have to drain part of the loop just to get this started. We'll do all that tomorrow morning while the crane's setting up and getting prepped. We won't take long to, to knock that out. Uh, we will also have a scrap company coming in. They're going to scrap these chillers out and haul them off. Uh, so they'll be coming in and after lunch they'll give the recovery company some time to get the refrigerant out they'll start breaking some of it down they're not going to take the whole machine apart piece by piece at least I don't think they will but um, they will be uh, you know taking some of it out and apart and getting these heavy compressors out of here so we we are letting them take the you know we're basically we're selling them the machines where they can scrap it and do their thing with it so th these are some ways that you can kind of take and recover some cost and give the customer some cost savings as well you know let them benefit from some of that that uh rebate i guess you you could call it you get back off of it anyway these these are a larger profile than the new ones for sure so we will have plenty of room to work with on the pad and making this look right and look pretty. Shout out to Rapid Recovery. They're out here doing our recovery on these chillers. They're taking the refrigerant for us and uh, just really enjoy working with these guys. They've got an awesome setup. They do a fantastic job. They've, we, we do a lot of work with them and we really, really, really enjoy it. So if you're in the you know texas region uh, specifically like san antonio austin i even i think they've even got some guys in dallas maybe uh anyway i really recommend these guys uh rapid recovery great company they do a, a really good work the aftermath of a scrapper whenever you give them free reign to come in and just 
tell them to make the chiller go away. This is uh, this is what you get. All right, we're coming together. We got that pipe busted, this one busted. We're replacing all of these isolation valves anyway, so we're doing well there. We're gonna get this, we're about ready to get this lifted. Now this frame is missing a couple of the lifting eyes, so we're getting ready. We're pulling it off of one of the chillers that doesn't have lifting eyes. The crane is just about ready for us. They're still kind of prepping their rigs and jibs, but uh, they're just about ready. You know, it's it's a re always a really good day when you've you know you're not an hour into the day and you've got a really good story to tell already. So uh, I was pulling a thermometer out on the other chiller and I thought we already had pressure off the loop, but we didn't. As soon as I twisted that thing off, boom, right in the face, right in the face. So, oh, we got somebody trying to hide from the camera. Going up in the air. Gotta clear them trees, but that won't be no big deal. Gotta cut this pipe out. See if we can get this one out. This is a crossover pipe. And we are on the ground. We got enough room to walk around, to keep service. We're sitting down where we want to be. We look great. So, that's there. Now what we got to do next is we got to get this pipe picked up out of the way and then we'll uh, we'll be able to get that other frame. Coming right along, we're getting these valves changed, almost finished, and uh, we got these done already. So as soon as we finish with this, we'll start filling this loop back up, we'll start getting everything ready to turn back on. This chiller and the one on the far end will leave. All we need that to do is just kind of blind flange out. So we will need to, to, by the end of the day though, we'll get this chiller to turn back on and we'll get the one we're working on now to turn back on. Once we get those turned on, verify that they will operate and everything holds, then uh, we'll be done for today at least. And we've got a week to uh, get these back online or to get these online so that we can do these next weekend. We got the uh, old chiller back online on one building. We're waiting on the loop to finish filling on the other building and we'll get this one back online. And we're looking great. I mean, looking really, really good. It's done a good job. We're gonna come in tomorrow. So this is Saturday. We're gonna come in tomorrow and uh, get all this cleaned up try to get all this mud all this trash as much of this as we can kind of squared away in the next week uh, well it's actually starting tomorrow the pipe fitter will start working to get all of the pipes tied in so we got to reroute because they come into the end barrel now so all this is getting piped uh, these are our controls we need to rerun the control wiring We'll put a J box there and hook that up. Electrician's gonna come in and run the electrical. Quite a bit to do over the next week, but it's uh, without a doubt doable. It's coming along. That chiller back there is good. Elect electrician's done, pipe fitter's done. I got some uh, plugs on the way for uh, those uh, uh, stub nipples. Oh, we're here for the final weekend. These two chillers are gonna be going out factory came out we got the other two new ones started up uh, they end up having some weird issues like for example that furthest one the uh, the flow switch wasn't terminated right from the factory in the control panel so it's going off on a flow alarm the uh, startup tech ended up catching it. it took them a little while to, to find it and now that's fixed that's online we've had these running for several days now with no issues they're doing really really well there's still a bunch of finish out work there's still a bunch of stuff to do but for the bulk of it it's here so we're almost done there's a whole lot less to do this weekend we did the bulk of it the other weekend so it'll be a whole lot easier to go around and bam there it is it's all there how do you like that nah so we're uh we're, we're several days later we got all the new chillers set in place. We got a lot of the controls going in, electricals tied in. These two uh, in the middle that we just did last are ready for startup now. So 
we're getting that set up a carrier we actually have carrier on site working on a couple of things so that works out these other new chillers uh, the two we've had running have been doing fine now we are actually experiencing a little bit of a pump issue we're going to deal with uh, but we're getting the automation straightened out making everything work like it needs to they've been running like like they need to to uh, keep up short of the automation problems that keep kind of giving us a hiccup they're doing fine so we got plenty of trash to clean up as you can see i mean there's just a lot of this is the finish work right so you got to see the major you know undertaking of the project now we've got all the cleanup you know we got to do a little extra wiring we got to do the installation in the piping get the heat trace working again get the startup done da, 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 da. so i mean there's really nothing too interesting about the rest of it it's just a matter of doing it appreciate it guys mtt take care of your family take care of your spouse your kids spend the time with them make that time uh other than that you know lots going on a lot of projects coming up we got a couple of more change outs and things in the near future also uh youtube says you're gonna enjoy this video over here i think you do i hope you do at least and let me know how things are going. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one.